Hey, my good friends. How are you guys doing? I'm going to do a quick Dollar Tree haul here of some things. I'm holding my camera because I just uh, trying to do this quickly and I have to move around. So these are some bamboo wind chimes that I picked out. And I just picked these up. Picked up these felt bunny clips. I picked up a few more packs of these. I wanted to do, there was a tree I saw made out of these, you know, like using one of those um, cone, either grapevine trees or something, and, and putting them all in there. And it was selling for like $24, $28. And I thought maybe I would use those or I will use these somewhere else. These are a great deal. Any other craft store, these speckled eggs like this in sets of six are about $5. So that's a good buy. I found some other napkins. Now I've gotten, I've got these in the guest towels before, but now they have them in the cocktail napkin. And that gives you more options when decoupaging. So I pick these up. I'm going to try to do a live date. I don't know if it's going to be live. I'm trying to do a tutorial today on the decoupage on cans. I picked up these. This was a new design. It's a cute little design for Easter. And this, again, I think I have this in a guest towel, but now it's in this size. So there's there's more things you can do with this. And I may have something right away to do with that. I also thought that this was really cute, this floral garland, because that's really good to use in other DIYs. Right there, that floral garland. And another item, new item that I saw, it's really sturdy. Um, it has this little slide here that you, you scoop the seeds and then you open and close the funnel part to get it down into your bird feeders. I think it's a really great uh, product. I, I didn't even think it was a Dollar Tree product because it was made so well, but they're really upping their game and this is a great product to get if you have it in your Dollar Tree and you have bird feeders and things. Okay, so I so I picked up these Crafter Square brushes. Okay, and then I've showed you hooks that I got with these butterflies on them before. Now I said there's got to be a DIYer that is taking all of these butterflies apart and doing other things with them. But some of the things were so cute, like I, um, and they have stakes like this. So, but if you had like one of those uh, whiskey barrel planters and you put it on a little stake in there, and it says uh, "Welcome," I just thought it was it was very cute. And the little butterfly kind of dances on there, and they come in different colors. So I did pick up that one, and then I picked up these. Okay. These are like butterfly dance. So these are like bouncing, right? You can put them outside and they're bouncing up and down. Bouncing. Embellishment here of some beads, faux crystal kind of thing. Picked up this hook. You've seen me have these hooks before. But these are really handy if you want to make a bird feeder come down lower or something like that. A small plant. And here's a because I like it for like if you have a, one of those whiskey barrel planters and you can put it on a little like shepherd's hook on there. Sometimes that's nice. Okay. And then I picked up this. Okay. So great on those. <laughs> okay. You see how these are like painted on? It's not like a decal that just, even though it probably is, it looks like it's just onto the glass the way if you buy like the big sets that you can buy. Um, like the ones I got with my Snoopy ones that I got at TJ Maxx or Entertainment Earth. I bought other kinds like this and they just look more professional. These are Zach designs. And so, yeah. This, so that's why I got this one and the Wonder Woman one. They had Captain Marvel, but it looked like it was, um, it would just come right off. It was weird. It had the other ones that I didn't get had a weird look. And this was the Punisher. And so I, I did pick up those. 
because those looked like the higher quality. I picked up two more of these mason jars because I really like them for decoupage because they already have the candle in them, the candle holder, and of course you could take it out. That's a tremendous buy there. So I picked up two of those. Then they didn't have those bunny bags that have the ears that everyone else, those big striped ears, but they had these, and here's four of them in here. And uh, I believe there's, yes, four of them in here uh, coming with these jute uh, twine. And then I picked up a pair of these Ergo Junior um, Kids scissors here. I picked up those. I picked up these because I know I have to go through my Easter stuff and I know I have some things in the Christmas tree shops, but I think they're square box signs I have. I really liked this, this part. Not so keen on this, but I may do something with decoupage on this part of it. Uh, so I like this Easter blessing. I may take it off here completely and do something with it, but I really like that vintage look there. And then, same, same kind of thing with this one. I love the vintage look. Not keen on the glitter, the crazy glitter, but um, like I said, I have, I, it's not even like it's real rough. You could almost like, I think, decoupage on top of that, but I'm going to see what to do. I'm, I'm going to figure something out. But the little eggs inside were so cute. And then I picked up two of these. I think when my kids are dying eggs or if I'm decoupaging eggs and I need to put them in there, these are good. Um, I do have like a, you know, a, a real a ceramic or stoneware plate from Faultscraft that I use to display eggs, but I just thought these were good when the kids are dying eggs or not. I picked up another one of these palettes. These are always good to have when I'm doing painting. Okay, I picked up um, two more of these dogwood stems because I'm gonna add those to my, my Easter tree and I will get to that. This was a flag holder that they have now. Let's see, the mini flagpole holder. So you see here you put the flag on there and then they had a really cute mini flag. One I believe with lemons and lemonade and then this one is really cute. It's the, I think we got a, I think Lisa and I got a full bicycle for 50 cents at AC Moore that time we went, but this one is my favorite color. It's the same color that Sassy Darcy made that bike to me in, made that bike for me in. And hold on, let me see if I can get it. There we go. So I like that a lot. Got two of the larger planters. These are pretty large and very sturdy. So I picked up two of those. I picked up two more of the glass salad size plates for decoupage. I picked up this for my other glue gun. Okay, I picked up this because I thought it was really nice. Okay, I picked up these for decoupage. These are six by eight. And then I picked up this five by seven. And I picked up three eight by 10 for decoupage. Last week and they only had one left. They brought them out. These have a really nice clothes. I even have paint my paints in them and they're great. These are in like the teacher kind of section. So I got two more in red and blue. They're like, you know, kind of mini scrap scrapbook boxes, but they're great for holding, you know, small papers and things that you want to decoupage or like little scraps of stuff that you want to decoupage or um, you know paints and craft supplies. I picked up, since you guys really liked my scarf the other night, I picked up another one just to have. Uh, so there we go.
I picked up these, these napkins. And again, I have something like it in a hostess napkin, but not in this size, and this gives you more options. I picked up these balls. And Debbie likes to play with those type. Um, some more Mod Podge. Like I said, it's a great deal. It's half the price of uh, Walmart and then 79 cents cheaper than... Uh, half the price of Michael's and 79 cents cheaper than Walmart. Um, then this. Let me see here. These were a nice find. They have some new redesigned baskets. They're in this kind and they have them in gray. They have them in other colors, but they only have like a gray and a pale pink in some of them. I think I got one pale pink. I'd like, you know, different colors, but they probably got taken. But this is like, I can see a lot of um, DIYs with this and people doing farmhouse things with them. But the gray color is really nice. It kind of reminds me of something retro, too, like from the 60s or 70s with the, just the design right there. But they're a, they're a nice um, size. They're good for crafts, paints. They're good for, I want to use some up in my bathroom to organize my you know, skincare and stuff like that, supplies, uh, makeup. <laughs> I have so much of it, or that I use so much of it, but yeah. Okay, and so I picked up four of those. They had them only in the fuchsia, I believe in this size, but I did pick up two, and I'll look for other colors. That's the, the larger size there. This nice larger size. This three like that. Look for loads of stuff. Okay, I showed you guys that I picked up more of this ribbon. Um, and I did that little mini haul the other night. See that this is going. I like these for the jars. I picked up, I I picked up that one. This is my favorite. They only had one of those left after I showed my vase with it, right? I picked up this one. Picked up this one. And then I picked up these. I picked up these so I like to have them in the car in my bag. These are from Bolero and vitamin C and peptide blend. They're facial wipes. We use them for other, you know, cleaning up of the kids. And this was what I showed you in the live. I just needed a friend that night, and this had the perfect name, Cuckoo Loca. So cute. Okay. Oh, and then I got the little cheer bear. Okay. And then I told you I got the little Sesame Street characters. They're, they're not little, they're big. And if you do any cake decorating or anything, these are great to, use, to reuse on cakes and stuff, but also just because they're so darn cute. So this is uh, Elmo. My, Elmo was the only one that I had before, but they had now. I found uh, Oscar. I couldn't find They had Betty Lou, but she wasn't there. Um, Oscar... Cookie Monster and Grover. They have a soft place in my heart. I have all the puppets, and like I said, somebody had a Grover puppet on the subway with a mask on. These styluses, they have like that. Um... Okay, so sorry, my camera was dying there. So I got these ribbons I showed you, right? Um, I picked these up for my daughter's uh, Easter basket, these gold masks. These are by Valero as well. So those are two of those. And then what I wanted to show you, okay, first off, I saw two different kinds. saw this one, this hot plate or home is where our family gathers. I like this design. But I thought, oh, wow, I could get a couple of them, paint them white or something, and decoupage something on top of them. Not that I would ever put anything hot on something I've decoupaged because I think it wouldn't handle that. But if I wanted to put it up like as something on the back of the countertop just with a nice, um, you know, something nice. So that's the first thing that I was thinking of, right? 
Then they had the one with the rooster. So I was gonna get, I was gonna get like a couple of these. I went to pick them up and they have some that are in clear glass. So they have nothing on them. This is what I was talking about, Lisa. These are all ready for us to decoupage them. How neat is that? And this, I don't think I've ever seen in the Dollar Tree before like this. And I don't think I've seen anyone decoupage this. So I did pick up three of these, three of these. But I do like this, I do like this one on its own. And they have the one rooster design there, so, but I do like this one. So I think that was about it for that haul, haul there. Oh, and the two Kinder Eggs that I got. There was two Star Wars Kinder Eggs or something. Yeah, they were in, in the other thing, but you know what a Kinder Egg is, right? All right, and uh, that was about it, I think. Let me see. Yeah, so anyway, I'll probably do some decoupaging later if I get a chance, but I want to get these videos up. I told you guys about this. And I hope that you're having a good day and be kind to each other. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.